Listen, what's that smell? Over there! Come on! Welcome back to Let's Play Ghostbusters! I'm Burning Dog Face. Look out! It's the light ship! Yeah, but it isn't just that! No. Where's the boss? And we're still trapped in the I kitchen! I believe I can say that out loud! I know that guy! It's the mass poisoner! Yes, the forest! So, nobody needs anything in here, even if you're really hungry! Yeah. I'm about to swallow my own tongue, Ray! But that's the okay! You know what? Where'd you go? There'd you go! Eat a dick! Aim high. Is this high enough for ya? Are you sure? Find some cover. It's a whole swarm. Anybody? Up there. I got oh, you. Oh no. Ooh, right in the bread basket. Oh, man. oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Why do I have this? Get behind something. That's trouble. Get out of here. Man, speed! It's look out! Above you! Oh. It's on your left. Oh, no. To the right. Oh, thank you. Sure, let's get him in one of these damn traps. Is there another portal in here somewhere? There's still more dudes coming in from everywhere. Oh no! I'm all the way over here! Keep it going! Jump out of the way! Man, this thing is really satisfying. On the right. More trouble. Swing a trap, rookie. Hey, watch it. Sorry. Whoa. Line him up. Well, he's not in mine, but whatever. The important thing is he's in the trap. Find some cover. Oh. Get him in there. Almost took my head off. I'm on your team. All right. Kitchen is clean. Let's get back to the elevator. <sighs> smashy, smashy.
Knock, knock. Oh God, you're here. Grab it. Okay, it looks like the cycle mass has come to rest about 190 feet above our heads. The 13th floor. This hotel has no 13th floor. None of the grand old hotels do. Man's got a strong argument. We'll split the difference. Egon, you and the Tenderfoot go to the 12th floor. Winston and I will check out the 14th. Uh, sir, if you'll please come with us. Fine, but stay in contact. This place is extraordinarily dangerous. It looked like it skipped the one line of dialogue, but unlike that one cutscene where I loaded the checkpoint because the conversation is playing out all wrong, I don't think we really missed anything there. It just seemed like Ray saying everything checks out in here. Of course, there could have been a funny conversation there about how much we just fucked up the kitchen, but you know. Sport volunteering to step up on this one. Thanks, cadet. See if you can pick up a signal. I'm working on it. Oh, here we go. See, I didn't realize that was a door. <laughs> like little ribbons on it, like a fan. This clock displays the time of death of anyone that sees it. But it was just spinning wildly for me. Circa, uh, circa 1821, the infamous Swiss death clock was constructed by Herschel Glucke, a genius but demented watchmaker. It is intended to show the exact time of death of anyone that comes near it. When placed in a firehouse in close proximity to so many past life entities, the clock's hand spins out of control. Peter uses it as a desk fan. Well, if we're going... See, that's even worse than knowing the day you're going to die, because all you'd know is the time of day. I mean, if you look at that clock and see, oh, you're going to die at uh, 8.21. Let's see a little hustle, Hot Rod. Then, uh, it's not really going to change anything, and, you know, the way you do your life, except that twice a day you're going to be extremely tense from 8.20 to 8.22. Take to that, you need to see this. <sighs> Much better. Let's see what's on the twelfth floor. So I happen to know that that is actually true. A lot of old buildings are designed superstitiously. You know, people get uneasy with the number 13. 
So they literally designate the 13th floor as the 14th floor? Gigan, what were you saying earlier about the Mandala note? You mean why do we keep seeing new ghosts? Yeah. Okay. Think of the Mandala as a city bus line. At the bus station, ghosts or waiting passengers are drawn into the system here and trapped. This concentrates their PK energy, which is then eventually forced through to the next node, or station, and so on until it all ends at the final terminus. At each successive bus station, the station manager absorbs some of the energy. This makes the station manager, or node guardian, stronger so that it can keep the ghosts in line and destroy anyone who comes to the station to interfere with the flow. These nodes, or bus stations, gather the power used to feed a central point, thus creating a much bigger threat to our world. Does that make more sense now? DTTC, Totally Trapped Transit Company. Yeah, you were going strong right up until the passengers got trapped inside the bus station. When is my performance review again? I deserve more stock options. I say, young man, you are full of surprises. After you, buddy. That was terrifying. Be extremely yes. careful. This is likely to be a point of dangerous concentration. I can't move. Oh, there we go. I uh, have to assume that... Uh, God, it's coming from everywhere and nowhere. Impossible to get a significant fix. Ray, come in. Are you there? He gone. What happened? We lost you for a minute there. We had a close contact. I've got some more information on the Spider Witch Ghost. Manager says authorities never found her, but the bodies were hung from the ceiling. They were drained of blood and dragged around. He says the victims were found in a pretty bad state. The walls were painted with blood. Furniture was half chewed and crushed and piled in the corner like a giant nest. She seems to have vandalized the room badly, too. Hmm. I don't want to be hung from a ceiling and drained of blood. Seconded. I'll tell you this much. I do not want to be found in a bad state or vandalized. <laughs> that sentiment. Unanimous. I just wander off by myself. That seems no. Oh. We need to go through here. There's an artifact here, but let's get a scan. I'm working on it, but. Can't get a good reading. Yep. Come on. Okay. I think I was supposed to fade to black there. As if I'd just gone in to use the headroom's toilet. Need a hand? Egon. Let's keep moving. Ray, come in. I think I missed yeah. that. What's up? What was the Spider Witch's room number? 1221. After her spree, it was locked up. Until about five years ago when we remodeled. Hear that? Room 1221. I think that... Hey! See what's here. Let's keep moving. Just a second. I don't know. Hmm. You ready? What's well, not behind them? Ha! I just wasn't doing it right. Really? Come on. The toilet itself? 
scary toilet emits frightening sounds. Is someone drowning? Phantom Flush Toilet. Circa 1906, presented to His Majesty Edward VII as a diplomatic gift from the Moroccan ambassador, this stunning specimen of engineering and craftsmanship has been a harbinger of disaster and death since its initial casting. Unbeknownst to the, to the ambassador, a Turkish drowning demon was bound to the magnificent throne as a fiendish assassination ploy. An insolent underbutler became the seat's first British victim when said servant tried to use it before Edward had a chance. The underbutler was dragged to his horrible watery doom when the toilet was quickly removed from the royal palace and thrown in the rubbish. It has since passed through many hands and households, spawning terror and tragedy in each. Even in this day and age, it is difficult to imagine that such a work of beauty is so incredibly deadly. Well, at least we've removed it now. You think it would work if we just smashed the thing with a sledgehammer? I mean, you can't poop in it if it's broken, right? Well, at least no one would try. We need to go through here. Fuck you, somebody's luggage. Spider Crawler. Class 6 Vermin Entity. They remind me of some of those things from Doom 3. What are they called? Uh, mites that only appeared in like two levels. Uh, corporeal Dispersible. Weakness to the Boson Dart. A close relative of the Venom Crawler, Spider Crawlers are also physical manifestations of the vermin spirits, uh, though of a different order. Encounters of these creatures have only been reported on the ghost plane, or they are usually the heralds of other, more dangerous powers. That's not good. Sorry, Egon. I probably stung. Oh, hey! This floor is undergoing significant metamorphosis. Those worlds are practically encroaching on ours. It's not even utilizing a portal. This is very bad. Yeah, I can see that. So, the station manager obviously was the chairman of the museum. And as it lore at the uh, library? Stapoff wasn't in a building. He was just looking for, uh. My ankles. Goodness, we hardly know each other. What? What are you? No! Help! No, please. No! She's not the ghost of a serial killer. I think she's a demon. It's the ghost world crossing through, happening sooner than we expected. It looks like this is where the node is focused. We could use some help. Ray, are you there? Come in, Ray! Looks like it's up to us. Let's find 1221 and finish this. I got your back, Spangler. Uh, right after I get this. What in the... The Unruly Beard. Really? A V. Belasco. This disgusting tangled mess of hair twitches and squirms. Circa 1933, Russian demonologist Vladimir Belasku, unnecessary comma, performed exorcisms throughout uh, central Russia in the 20s and early 30s. He never noticed that one of the very minor sub-demons he cast out had escaped into his beard, a massive and wild nest that stirred envy in most men. Upon his death, the possessed beard left Belasco's face and stowed aboard a freighter to the Americas. The beard has a tendency to attach it to affix itself to the chins of unknowing victims while they speak to mock them, but rarely does any real harm. That's 
still probably the most positive thing I've read about one of these things. Sir Egon, I just had to capture a beard. I'm burning dog face. Uh, this is Dr. Egon Spangler. And we'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghostbusters, Burning Dog fans. Come Stay on. tuned.